What's going on guys? So today, finally gonna figure out what the fuck is actually going on with my RB25 sitting right in the corner there. So, got engine crane off Carl, got engine stand off Carl, went and got some bolts from Black to be able to bolt the block to the engine stand, bolt it up and uh, pull the piston out to see if it's got a cracked ring land or not. So, if the ring land's cracked, then obviously I'm gonna have to get another piston, slap it in there. If it's not cracked, then throw it back in. Yeah, also gonna finish pulling the head apart, so yeah, that'll be good. First thing I'm gonna do is gonna pull these lifters out of the head. Easy to do that. When I got myself a magnet earlier, just like that. Now these lifters have to go back in the same spot, so. <laughs> yeah, so you can take them out and line them up all, all along there. Intake side against the wall, exhaust side out. Patrick just poked me in the ass with his ratchet. Ah, uh, it's just my finger. Oh. <laughs> Welcome back to Engine Masters. On today's episode, hydraulic lifters. Obviously, the basic thing of Joel didn't mention it is something like this two lifter per cylinder. Just mark I112, E112. Like you said, they've all got to go back in the same spot. It's just the easiest way of marking that nothing's going to go back in wrong unless one of your friends decides to play a prank on you and change the numbers. Yep. Which no one's going to do that because no one is going to be fucked with. I would hope not. Well, I mean, I'm here. Yeah, but you wouldn't do something as dumb as this. Well, I mean, you said no one's a fuckwit and he said he's here, so he's not wrong on that behalf. Yeah, but I mean, like, as that much of a fuckwit. No. Oh, no, no. Oh, I'm don't get me wrong, you, you're a fuckwit. Yeah, I'm not that much of a fuckwit. Not many people know this, but Joel's actually famous now as of this minute, for his use of RTV. <laughs> what what um, gaskets do you use? Just out of curiosity, do you still have the five layers, or do you still run a like, standard style? No, the, uh, those metal layered ones. Okay. Ideally, you shouldn't have to put any RTV on them. Like, obviously, it's a good thing to hold everything on and stuff like that, but you see that, but... Uh, how do you count past eight? Mate, this isn't fucking Daniel Logan's YouTube. Who? Daniel Logan. Who's that? Anyone who wants a good laugh, look up Drift Train NZ. He's fucking. His parents, I swear, have to be brother and sister, eh? That's it's, harsh. It's really not. I actually commented it on one of his things. Like, the video was that bad. Like, well, the misinformation was that bad. I commented, I said, Are your parents brother and sister? And he said, I can't remember. Pretty sure they were first cousins. To be fair, I've said some fucking wrong shit many times oh, myself. What the fuck? Oh no, like, this is a guy who doesn't even know how to wipe his own ass and he's doing, like, reviews on, like, paint guns and shit. Um, so, just knocking these out now. So you've got your valve that's up the centre of this. And then these, obviously, spring and retainer. And then you've got these two little collets. They've got this little spot in the centre, if you can see it. That goes into a groove in the valve. And they just sort of hold the, hold the valve to that, so... So your method is a socket and a rubber mallet. Yeah, the rubber mallet's mainly, we don't want to, you don't have to smack it overly hard, but the rubber mallet's mainly just, we don't want to damage the bottom of a nice chrome socket. Obviously, as you can see, it's not doing any damage to the top of the retainer there. The valve tool would be the best thing to use, but since we don't have one on hand, just smack a, a collar out into our hand. Gangster Jim. Uh, all right, so here's pretty much all disassembled now. Patrick came up with a good idea of um, instead of holding the socket because it was like bouncing out of your fingers, vice grips makes it real good. So yeah, Patrick did that side, I'm able to go, done pretty much all of this side, just got these uh, these last ones to do now. And then yeah, head's pretty much done after that. Head's all disassembled, everything is where it should be. Carl's put some new wheels on a Cephi, exhaust is all done, drive shafts in, and what? You're gonna give it an old starty start start, aren't you? Yeah, see what it sounds like with an actual exhaust on it. I'm just trying to make sure it's in neutral. Seems to be. Cephi on 15s. If this thing was lower, it would look a hell of a lot better. I want to need it lower though, because any lower than this and that jack can't even get under it. What others have you actually made? Pepperoni? Woo! Here's Patrick trying to order pizza. Cutie. Stay. Yep, can I get a bacon and aioli as well? 
and obviously a pepperoni, yeah. And do you guys just want a cheesy garlic pizza? Yeah. They're really good. They like the cheesy garlic pizza. What the fuck pizza. are you doing? The structure doesn't work. <laughs> so so that, that should be four pizzas. It never works, man. Oh, that's crack up. It works. It's not stupid. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna get my mates back it up. So it's a funny name, but it's not a joke. Um, McMari. Okay. McMari. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So McMari. Well, that only took <laughs> fucking fifteen minutes. <laughs> Fuck. Before you, you, no, right, before you cancel this for YouTube, I rang up ten minutes ago. And they're like, "Well, I've got to pay to hut. Can you wait a minute?" Fucking waited ten minutes. Gave her, hung up, rang them back. Oh yeah, we can take your order. Well, why can you take it the last fucking ten minutes? <laughs> Wait, is the fuel pump on? Remember how I played the joke on the fuel pump last time we started it? I never started just again? checked that plug and it's plugged in. Fuel yeah, yeah, no, I did it in the boot, like the two wires to the relay. You ass. <laughs> you ass. Got him! Which one is? This one here. See how that's not connected at all? So you've got no fuel pump. You're a fucking asshole. Hey, man. Yeah, you guys remember that trick that we played on Carl <laughs> ages ago when we first got started? Uh, three, three, months, months three months ago. ago. Three months ago. Long right. Time. I will fight you and I will win. Probably. I did last time. All right, piece of shit, start. <laughs> I'll stroke it the right way and you give it a love. <laughs> that was food. Straight no. Wise, no cut there. No, no, it's not tight. Yeah, I was going to say that. I was going to say, is there a bung in the exhaust um, O2 port? Yeah, right there. You can see it. Uh, have you seen these? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, right. bung's right there. Stick your hand in there. Right there. Fuck off, Doug. <laughs> I'll fight you, can't. Right, do you want me to fire it up again, or is that no, all we're doing? leave it off, because the wiring is touching. It just needed the magic touch. Look at the angle. I'm talking about it straight. Why not? Fucking turn the wheels, you smart cunt. How many dars can a wada da? Mad angle. I don't know how many do you reckon wada da's can a wada da wada da wada da? How many dars can a wada da for wada da can a wada da da? Seven. That is science. Yeah, you can do seven on the eighth one, your oil pump shatters. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so about to pull the piston out of the motor, but we need to get it onto the stand. Can't be fucked using the crane, so we're gonna lift it. Man handled. Let's just slam it in there. Oh, man. That's what she said. My name's Carl, I'll be your cameraman today. This is Patrick, this is Troy, this is John, this is Daniel. And that's an RB. I will just be. Get in there, strong man. Oh, I'll just be standing here. Oh. Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Just grab the end and guide it in. That's what she's oh, stick it in me! Oh. Okay, and lift at the end, just the end. Yep, and you're in. Easy money! Okay, so uh, I'm a fucking idiot because... You've done yourself a mischief, mate. Yeah, I've done myself a mischief. I forgot to empty the oil. Wait, really? And we tried to turn it upside down. It took a poo! All right, so we got the motor flipped up, sumps off. Uh, there was no metal around the pickup, which is good. That's a good start. Well, yeah, good start. Oh, well, anyone wanted to uh, follow up on an argument? So, someone was saying the other day, looking for an RB sum, and um, I'm not going to mention names of who commented. It was like, oh, just get any RB20, RB25, or RB30. They're all the same. Now, I mentioned. I know we. I know I've seen this, and yeah. I know where you're going for this. So I mentioned the fins and the. RB20 and RB25 sumps that the RB30s don't have. So, RB30s don't have these three fins inside them. So if you fit an RB25 sump to an RB30, the crank will hit those. Moment of truth. Bearing came with it. 
bearings looking a bit tired. Yeah. I'd probably chuck a new set in there just to be safe. They're like $78. Yeah, so just some light scoring. There no, there's only one spot on the passenger yeah, that the came one. off. Yes, yeah, the main bit. Oh, it's got some chipping around there, but... So that's probably the bit that caused the scratch then. Mm, don't know. Well, it's a bit different. Well, it has to be, because nothing else could have done it. That's yeah, probably about the same spot the score in the board is. Yes, it is. Yeah. But there's no... No indication of anything... Something, yeah, something this... passed through. Or even something caught on the ring and it just... The ring lamp's still looking up. Yeah. There you go, oh. on my finger. Look, I pulled a bit of metal off the side of the piston onto my finger. That was just literally something that was sitting on the side of it too. That's not yeah. a crack out of it. That was just something that was sitting there. All right, so little update. Um, we pulled the first piston out, as you saw, and no cracked ring lamp, which is good. So all my uh, so that piston's good. Realize that the bearings, well, the bearing in that was pretty not rooted but you know it was um on its way out if you guys can see in here like you can see scoring on the bearing basically what we decided to do is replace the bearing uh in piston one but it, there's no point in only doing one piston so as you can see we've pulled all of the rods and pistons out taking the cog off so we can take the crank out because if i'm going to do the rod bearings may as well do main bearings so what's turned what so what was supposed to be a head gasket is now turned into a full-on rebuild. So this motor is actually gonna be pretty fucking solid. Alright, so just a quick update. Um I got the front cog off with no issue. Yeah, it came like right off with a real good. Yep, so I pulled the oil pump off for him, Joel's done the rear main seal. Now we're just gonna take the girdle off and gonna get all up in its get all up in its girdle and see what See what the main end of it looks like. Don't you just wish you had a rattle gun sometimes? Yep. Don't you just wish I thought to bring my rattle gun that's at home? Might as well stick some rub bolts in there too. Yeah. Don't, so, isn't there something you have to do with the bearing clearance? Yes. And you know what the best part is? Shut up. <laughs> you know what the best part is? You can't just buy RV rub bolts. You've got to buy two sets of SR21s and then get the... Oh, yeah. Um, get everything clearance and you've actually got to machine out the rods. Cause the, it, yeah, because the SR21s are bigger. Fuck it, should I get a link too? And a no, carrot. get a how-to. And a Stinko. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Go Bulls T. Get a, get a how and an IMR. Sounds like garbage. I'd hey, rather run a how -tech. Hey, Link ECU, if you're watching this, please sponsor me an ECU. Can you please? Should we uh, put some big boy injectors in there? May as well get a big turbo. <laughs> crank the sides to eat itself. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's some scoring on these ones yeah. as well. And it's like something's gone through the motor and just like from that cylinder, it's just yeah. gone through. <laughs> Please, it means I won't have to fucking spend all the money on this thing now. And well, no one has to watch this video. <laughs> do you want to see it coming or do you want it to be a surprise? Oh, what, what, that's what, what I say to my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Filming for about 12 seconds, now we're going to lift the crank out. He just like oh. step into the fucking oil. It's a crank, not a fucking barbell. No, no, let it be a dumbbell. Oh, it's got a flex section. Ah, this is actually pretty heavy. Yeah, they are. Oh, that's a big crack in the block. Fuck off. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Unfocused. <laughs> not bad. Hey, it has all the squirters. It must be a genuine debt. <coughs> This looks like normal wear. It's only a bit of coronavirus, mate. Right? You'd be fine. <laughs> what do you think of those like little pippings there, Sam? I'll take it over for now. Let me see those. What's on there? Yeah. Well, that one's fucking. Maybe it's the coating just coming off. But this one's lost all its coating around there. Yeah, yeah no. This. Oh. oh. Is that rag? Even on the outside, that's about fucking. That's a bit. So it's a good decision that we're going to be doing these as well. Yeah. Yeah. That. Oh yeah. yeah look at that. Oh yeah. You, you can see, see the discoloration. Yeah. yeah. Um, might be worth looking at sticking, double checking all the thrust washers and everything in it as well, so you can get like one that goes in there, like that. 
Yeah. And basically what happens is those two side bits stop, meant to stop the crank going back and forward. You're lucky it hasn't spun a bearing or anything like that, like preventative maintenance. Well, I'd be pretty dumb to do like judging right. judging by how bearing number six was, I'm not that it was far off spinning one. Well, yeah, it'd be pretty dumb to do like rod bearings and stuff and then yeah. not do the main bearings and then have one of these spin. Yeah, exactly. I mean, like if you do decide to resell it or use it on something else, it's, you know, you've yeah. done it right. Yeah. But you know, it'll be safe than solid. Actually, you have a feel of it. You can actually feel the wear on it. Yeah, like, no, nah, like you can feel how it's like thicker there than it is yeah. there. Yeah. Like, run your finger through it. Yeah. You can actually feel the dip in it. So that one's pretty well gone. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's probably a good thing we are doing a full rebuild now. Yep, oil squirters, it's a genuine debt, boys and girls. Right, so I'm starting to get pretty bad with uh, forgetting to film outros, but as you can see, this build is spiraling out of control. So originally it was supposed to be just a head gasket, pulled the head off and realized that we had that scratch in the bore, decided to pull the motor, or pull the piston out to see if it had a cracked ring lamb, did that, Figured out it was good, but the bearings were a bit worn out, so pulled the whole lot apart. So, new bearings, rings, gonna get all the machine work done. Um, I've actually possibly bought another blown RB25 with a block that doesn't, well, with a good block. So, if I do end up getting that, then I'll use that block for the new motor for the Ceph. But either way, this thing's gonna be pretty good. Um, I am thinking of getting a Senko whole set and link and all that stuff. I was gonna be getting all that shit anyway if I was gonna be building it at 30. Um, but now that I might be building this 25 up, um, yeah, I don't know, definitely way up sort of what I want to do in the future. Um, but yeah, I definitely want to get something going, uh, as soon as possible. Cause I do want to have a car that I can cruise on over the summer, but yeah. Um, anyway, cheers for watching guys and, uh, catch you in the next one.